Robotic snakes sound like the stuff of nightmares, but their limbless movements make them good candidates for exploring land, sea, and air. On a recent expedition to Egypt, a robotics team ran into trouble. Their robo-snake couldn't make its way up sandy inclines. We're often as interested in failures of locomoting models as we are in successes because the failures help us understand some of the principles. Meanwhile, a physics team in Georgia was working out the biomechanics of snakes on tilted sandy soils. We thought to ourselves, what's well, a very cool animal that uh, no one has looked at? As it turned out, robots aren't the only ones who have problems with the sand. But one snake had no issues ascending the steepest slopes, the sidewinder rattlesnake. When sidewinders sidewind, they're actually sending two waves down their body, one in the horizontal plane and one in the vertical plane. Where these waves meet determines which part of their bodies move ahead and which stay stuck to the soil. Their secret to tackling slopes? Increasing the proportion of their bodies that stayed in contact with the sand as the slope got steeper. It's harder than it sounds. After teaming up, the researchers used what they learned from the sidewinders to improve the robo-snake. Because the snake bot showed improvement, it meant that their understanding of sidewinding mechanics was accurate. And now, it has the skills to slither up all the dunes in Egypt. Go.